easier than doing loan closing loan documents and stuff like that. I said, okay, let me explore, let me explore more of what this power of attorney really entails, right? And then it, it moved on from power of attorney. And then the, you know, I'm now I'm paying attention to um, who are my repeat uh, clients, right? And in the, the repeat clients were coming from my power of attorney. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing a power of attorney. Then I'm doing a transfer of death instrument. Then I'm doing a last will and testament. And then I'm doing a trust package um, for the same damn client. I was like, this shit is a fucking gold mine, right? And then I was able to dig in deeper. What what's that old um this that old um riddle where the guy was digging for diamonds, right? And he was like, he dig a little bit deep, and then no diamonds was found. He went to another spot, dug a little bit, didn't find any diamonds. But the guy that kept digging and digging and digging and digging found all of those that acres of diamonds right there. So that's what I kept doing. I just kept digging deeper and deeper to the point where, all right, now I'm going to create a website. Now I'm going to announce my company as uh, the power of attorney notary experts, right? Because now I understand this niche and it's undisputable because what could you tell me? I've been doing the power of attorney for the last four years. So like, what could you tell me that's going to be new? Besides, like your document requires two witnesses versus one. Man, that's just so much game because I was just overhearing a conversation about notary software and how people are using these different elements to try to cut corners and try to save costs and try to get the right type of ink and all this other stuff. And I'm like, how does that get you to the you bag? Know, how did I get you to the back? <laughs> how do you actually finish a transaction? How did that help you when you get to an appointment? And then how do you, how are you structuring your appointments and ensuring that you don't miss a step and you're, you're crossing all your T's and dotting your I's and you, you know, you're getting people's thumbprints or their signatures and you putting them in the right line, like all that stuff, like what you're getting here. Like I was very apprehensive with power attorneys and then you know, after hearing the breakdown, it's like, you know what, once I have an approach and once I actually have some type of uh, foundation to, uh, to go and, uh, you know, attack it, it ain't no thing, man. It ain't no thing. Like all the other stuff is, is, is unrelated. It's, it doesn't actually get you to the finish line of getting to the <laughs> appointment. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Because some, some, Companies make a lot of money complicating shit. Mm. You, you know that, right? Like, if I can take something as simple as this webinar and, and make it seem complicated and make you feel like this shit is complicated, I can make a lot of money doing that. Mm. Now, because it's like, oh man, you got to do this. You got to get a, 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 a microphone. You got to get this, this sophisticated camera. And really you don't, you're like, hey, look, dude, you could use a headphones with a built-in mic and then get your ass online. <laughs> that simple. But a, a lot of people make it complicated. Therefore, they expect other aspects of this notary business to be complicated as well. Fuck that. Show me sure, the money, man. give me the money, dude. I'll figure out the rest of this shit. I'll be honest with you, like the first two years, I didn't have my business incorporated because I didn't know if I wanted to be a notary or not. That makes sense? Right. Like, why would, I, why would I spend so much money? I, by the way, I had, I want to say eight practice tries. I'm going to call it practice tries. I ain't even going to call them failed businesses anymore. That's stupid. I learned so much from those, those businesses so I'm gonna call them, I had eight practice tries, right? And I would spend a whole lot of money building up a website, um, getting it incorporated, getting logos done, business cards, just to realize that I either didn't like the business anymore or the business wasn't in demand like it should be, right? Or what I thought it would be. So instead of doing that, I was like, let me get to the money first on this notary business, right? 
That's the first thing I would like. I want to get to the damn money. Let me see this money first. I didn't do no website. I didn't do no business cards. I didn't incorporate for the first year and a half, two years. After I said, you know what? I could do this for a while. Let's, let's, get, let's get this money. Matter of fact, it got so easy to the point where my customers paid to get it incorporated. My customers paid to get the business cards done. My customers paid to get the website. It was customer funded. It was client funded. And if